Hello everyone watching at home, welcome to Adelaide Eternal. We are bringing you more playtesting. We are playtesting Highlander. Uh, this is a continuation of the previous match, which was a rug control versus rug midrange. Uh, Beckett is on rug control and I'm on rug midrange. G'day guys. So we are doing post sideboard now. Uh, I'm keeping my hand, I'm on the play. And uh, I think you're keeping your hand as well, Beckett? Yeah, it's a good one. All right, oh, it's a good one. Oh, that's not a good sign. Uh, well, let's see if I can change that. And I'll go snow-covered forest into carpet of flowers. <coughs> sure. Misstep? No, okay. <laughs> All right, I dodged misstep and force of negation and force of will. Now it's out <laughs> and it's going to yeah. stay. <laughs> I might put this yeah. down here with my mind and my soul ring. <laughs> I'm going to probe for life. Okay, enjoy my hand. Uh, I've got Vanilla Click, Bone Crusher Giant, Uro, uh, skull clamp and misty rainforest. Yeah, and if the uh, if the carpet resolved, you can probably guess that the clamp will resolve. Yeah, I was I was thinking about misstep, but you know you could have spell pierce, but when you got the carpet, sure. you know, um, it's just going to be land to go from me. All right, okay, it's a go from me. I will untap and I will draw. So uh, let's go land, and I will cast this mate i don't have any problem with that at all okay nice all right well it's out it's out that's nice uh, and then i'll pass turn okay uh tarn pass okay doesn't want to play any land islands oh uh, that seems entirely reasonable uh, i'll draw okay so let's see um, let's see, as soon as you counter something, I get to do something in my second main phase. No, so, no it's yeah. brutality, isn't it? First main phase. I will, I will play this. Uh, let's see. I think I just pass. Well, yeah. All right, I'll pass him. Hmm. Not happy about this. Mm, what is it? Just like a tap, tap out scenario. I don't really know how I'm going to be here. It's going to be huge, isn't it? your it's own gonna... carpet. Clothus or something? I'll fetch Tiger and I'll play JBP. Oh, I don't like JBP in this matchup. <laughs> But I have played a volcanic island. Yeah, it definitely gets bone crushed all the time, which is nice. Uh, okay, uh, that will resolve. Yep, and I'm going to go to my end step. All right, in your end step, I'll fetch these lands and I'm going to be casting this. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. righty. Um, I think I probably have to respond to that. Yeah, I think so. Let's see, maybe I'll just go for uh, what are the oh, oh, two, yeah, all right, the two island based ones, I think. Let's uh, fetch basic mountain, rabbit elemental. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this more sensible, a, a sensible full art one, since that makes a bit easier to see. All right, red elemental blast, I think, is entirely reasonable. Yep, you got it, and it's all yours. All right. So mm, I'm gonna I get some you crush there. I guess click makes sense because you can um, yeah do, do the damage, untap, clamp, and then That's you it. can always just bone crush in your main phase. That's the plan, right? But you know, if you counter it, you counter it. Oh, that's just the nature. It's just gonna it's just gonna happen, you know. Yeah. So oh, well, you're yeah. not getting stifled on the manor anyway because you're getting one back here. That's it. Uh, okay, so first main phase, I'm gonna add one mana. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm going to uh, use that one mana to stomp that. You stomped. Uh, and then I'm going to play Silver Library. Yeah. I'll pass. Okay. This game brought to you by Carpet of Flowers. <laughs> by the Green Soul Ring. It's actually not doing that much work other than kind of messing with your mana base slightly. Like it's, it's adding one mana, like on turn three. <laughs> oh, it's huge though. But it, that's all right. Yep, go for it. Draw all the cards. Can't do much about that. And now mm. I get to uh, live the life of Sylvan Library and Uro. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, <laughs> it's so good, in fact, that I will pass turn. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'll trigger this and let's go one, two, and three. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, I believe I pay eight here. Ooh. Yeah. Let's see. I'd put you at 10 if you did. Puts me at 10. It is, I don't think, oh, I guess you could have like, imagine if in the hand you had like Vendillion click and then you started beating me down. That would be embarrassing to just Well, lose. I don't actually have double blue here to. Oh, uh, that's you. true. That's true. But I, could I think have, I'm okay to pay eight here. I could have snap, I don't know, snap. Well, snap snap acol. Snap reb. I can't snap acol. I've got snap reb. Uh, all right, well, I'm going to draw all of them. So I'll go to 10. Uh, okay, so now in this turn, uh, I've got a... Um, when do I want to add it? Maybe I don't want to add it now. I think I will... I think I will not add it in my first main phase. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to cast Astrolabe. Yeah, that's fine. No, I draw. Okay, so... I think I'll go to my second main phase. Okay. And let's go with uh, adding one blue. Mm -hmm. uh, and we'll play a blue row. I will remand it actually. Oh, yep. Yeah. That seems reasonable. All right, back in my hand. Uh, and then I will pass turn. So draw for remand, uh, tap, draw for turn. And now I think I'm at a stage where you got a lot of mana. Mm, yeah, you, you, you've kind of got to do something. And you may as well go like, uh, he's got heaps of mana, may as well just give it to him. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah, I'm really not sure. I did to... draw heaps of cards. <laughs> I'm drawing a lot of cards, haven't I? Well, you've drawn one. You've drawn three off your A-call. I've drawn two off Silver Library. It's kind of it's kind of fair, right? <laughs> uh, I'll just put Lutri into my hand. All right. Yep, that's reasonable. All right. So two mana up, but you've got you're giving me two mana. Okay. All right. I'll untap and I'll Sylvan. One, two, and three. All right, I think we... So I'm going to get two mana. Two mana, you say? Okay. All right, you got two mana available. So I'm taking one here. One, one card, I mean. Uh, let's take... This card. All right, put two back. Okay. Uh, we're going to, uh, let's see, first, first main phase or second main phase? Hmm, good question. Yeah, first main phase, I'm going to add uh, two mana. That two mana will be, let's make it two blue mana. Uh, and I use the two mana to make a Tylus Tracker. That's a good one. Does it resolve? It's uh, going to resolve here. Yeah. Nice. All right, then I'll trigger it. Oh, Kobe, what are you doing? It's my clue over there. Okay. And uh, I'm, I mean, if you mana leak this on whatever, I'm probably entirely fine with that. Uh, I'm going to cast Uro. Yeah, pay one. It's pretty yikes. Pretty much yikes. <laughs> yep. All right. Oh, game three. I'll draw one. Uh, I guess trigger on the stack. I'm going to oh, yep. sink, sink all the tile striker. Yep. That's reasonable. Okay. Uh, I'll, I'll gain three and then I'll pass turn to you. So I'm going to go to 12. Uh, 
So Agol, Reb, and Probe are still in the bin. Mm-hmm. They get uh, the Trium. Seems like a good good collection. Thanks. Um, I've got you. Did you pay life in the end? You paid one uh, for yeah. the water log. So I'm to- total twelve because I lost one from the water log. Yeah. Okay. All righty. It's going to be Hex Drinker. Oh, Hex Drinker is nice. Yep. That resolves. Uh, I'm going to level, level, and play Trop and level. All right. So I'm getting lots of mana, but you've got a big boy. He's a big boy. Yep. Um, That's reasonable. And I'm just thinking, how am I going to beat this Uro, man? Maybe I need to just beat it uh, with Hexy Boy. I'm actually going to level level again. Yeah, I, I, just I don't race. like my chances. I can use the mana. I'll pass. I can use the mana, but I think I need to take a risk because I'm behind. So I need to take a risk yeah. and then untap and have a really good turn next turn. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. I think that's a good play. Oh, what am I doing? I'm doing my Sylvan Library. Uh, yeah, this is decent, isn't it? Basically have to get Uro out here. It's just just to race the Hex Drinker. It just has to happen. So I mean, you gain in. six life just off the ETB and then you're pressuring a ninth mm. on the swing. I mean, it's just insane, isn't it? It's so much. Uh, so my carpet's giving me four, right? Yep. Okay, in that case, I will play them like that. All right, I'll put... Oh. Yeah. Put them like that. One, two, three, four. And you've got no counter spells up. I guess you could have days or something. Um, so then I'll... Put them like that. All right, those two back. Uh, so, you know, you just got to be careful, play around the days. I'll play this land. Um, and let's see, Hexy Boy, you say. Uh, I mean, Uro dies for Pyroblast, which isn't great, but the life gain is pretty relevant. All right, let's. Uh, so crack this. We go one, two. I don't mind having that card on top, but I don't mind not drawing it. Uh, you got heaps of cards in hand, or a fair amount. Uh, six. One of them is Lutri. Six. Whew. Six cards. And your life total is quite high, right? Uh, it's fourteen. Fourteen. Yeah, it's definitely not not irrelevant. All right. Well. I'm just deciding whether to pressure or to um, value because I got, I got some choices there. That's for sure. All right. Uh, so this will let me value. I have, and I have two floating off that. Blue, blue. Uh, simply green, green. All right, so fetch this, draw that, and have two floating. Yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah. Now I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna go the like just maximum pressure uh, direction. I've got this way that I can do shenanigans, but I. I think I'm just going to go the go the way that I think will guaranteed win, um, or closer to guaranteed win. Uh, okay, so I'm going to grab myself a, a basic here, um, and I've added with the carpet of flowers uh, four blue, mm-hmm. and I will cast the uro right. with going two blue to, floating. Going up to fourteen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go up to 14, exile my bin, uh, and then I have two blue floating with this. So the, uh, let's see, 
if uh, what this does. So I'll draw a card. Okay. All right. Two blue floating. And we go. Let's go one. Two blue and then one. Yeah. All right. All right. So I'll use my two blue and I'll cast a true name. Ooh, yep. Yeah. So like the, the other plan involved me having a, like if I drew the top card of my deck and cracked this, I would have die fleet and I'd a call myself, mm. but I think this just commits and makes it incredibly difficult for you. Uh, and then, uh, what does your graveyard look like? What, what cards uh, do you have? It looks there? good. I've got a windswept heap, a call, sinkhole, reb, probe. Okay, all right. Interesting. <laughs> all right, well, I will use this to. And you've got Lutri in hand, right? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, maybe I do don't do anything here because uh, I have another play, but I think it's not ideal. So instead, we'll just um, I think pop a skull clamp on this guy. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you got sinkhole in the graveyard, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you need to have specifically Snapcaster to punish this play. Uh, so, and Snapcaster would rev it anyway, so it's fine. So yeah, I'll clamp this guy and then I'll pass turn. Yeah, I don't feel like I'm winning if I'm swinging or if I'm blocking. <laughs> What's your um, life total? Uh, I'm on 14. Mm. So you gain three on the swing back anyway. Yeah, that's it. Like if you swing, then you're swinging for three a turn. And I'm swinging for, for 10 a turn, so... Uh, let's triple level this guy. Yep. It's big. And arbitrarily large. Gosh, I guess I'd get in for three. <laughs> get it's in six. There. <laughs> get it in feels there. like three. Yeah. <laughs> I'll go to eight. Cubs in hand, sorry? Uh, I'm on four, I think. Uh, yeah, four and then a bone crusher on adventure. Okay. Uh, I'm going to blast the Euro. Uh, I figured that would be coming in there. Yeah, it feels pretty bad, but you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> you got to do it. That's all right. So this dies. I draw two cards. Mm -hmm. One and two. All right. Uh, clamp goes over here. And then I'm just thinking. Just thinking. Um. We should have done this before you drew. Um, I'm going to gush and hold priority loot. That is maximum value right there. Um, I guess I'll respond to the... Uh, so, loot is on the stack. Uh, you've picked up two islands, right? Yeah, they're both on the stack, yeah. Okay, and how many cards do you have in hand, in, not including those two islands? So, I've got three in hand and then two islands. Three in hand. All right. Uh, I lose one by doing this, uh, but I will uh, bolt the Lutri. Okay, so I draw four? Yep. yep, so you end up drawing a bunch of cards. Yeah. Oh, so I, for the Lutri to res... So the Lutri is resolved in the trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah and trigger. copies the yeah, stack, sure, sure. Just so they don't get any missteps. Yeah. All right, uh, and I'll just check if I have to discard, but otherwise I'm passing. Yep, that seems fair. Yeah, I'll discard two lands. Seems good. All right, so uh, untap and then I get to do this. Okay. Uh, and you're on seven, is it? I'm on seven and your guy attacks for six. Yeah. <laughs> Not ideal, right? Not ideal. Okay. Uh, and you have quite a few cards in hand. <laughs> I've got seven, yeah. Do you have any creatures in the graveyard? <laughs> uh, Lutri. 
Literary, nice, nice. Okay. So protection from everything you say. What do you do? What do when protection from everything? So of these cards, I can really only take one. Uh, and you've got you've got three islands in play, so I'm on eight mana. So I've got one, two, three. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, I'm taking that card then. All right. Let's put that back there. I'll draw this card. All right. Uh, I'll... True name not doing much, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, surprisingly, right? Surprisingly not much. Uh, okay. It felt really strong with the Uro because it's yes. just is such a race racer and the Uro gains you life. But uh, by himself, yeah, not by much. Himself. Don't, can't race a hex drinker. <laughs> not easily, at least. Uh, okay, so I'm going to get to add three blue. Uh, or three green? Three, three green. Okay, so with a three green, uh, let's go. Uh, uh, I get I've got a green sun zenith, so there'll be a lot of a lot of things I can do with that. Uh, I think questing beast is what kind of gets me there to kill you next turn. So, as opposed to getting to Tanya. Like I mean, I'm on, I'm on 14 and Questing Beast's true name is Swing 7 a turn. Yeah, exactly. Like, as much as I want to get myself a, uh, you know, Titania and go crazy or something, I don't think that's this is the time. So mm -hmm. I think I'd do it for five. Um, so so, so the X the is four. Carpet is three. Carpet yep. is three. So X is four. Yep. X is four. That resolves. All right. Okay. So let's grab. Oh, no, that doesn't really do anything. Because Clothus is a creature, so I could get Clothus. Oh, that's a good one, yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Well, that came up uh, in the other game. I think uh, I think I was tapped out anyway. I can't remember. I think I might have had Spell Pierce for you, Clothus. Ah, uh, yes. And I was like, oh. Or yeah. maybe it was Force of Negation. I had force that's it. Like, Force doesn't, doesn't counter it, but then, yeah, yeah, yeah. Force of Negation. It's really weird. Weird spot, all right? All right. So, well, now the true name is doing something again because this. A, it's affecting the clock, and B, it does switch off my ability to block. Yes, if, true. If I'm in a position... I mean, that's basically what it's saying. If I'm in a position where blocking feels correct, true name says, no, it doesn't. <laughs> you thought blocking was correct? No, it's not. <laughs> yeah. Because next a... turn, like, blocking feels correct, right? So I don't die. But, yes. uh, you know, the true name will get there eventually. Yep, so true. Uh, so I've got land for turn. And uh, you've got one loot tree in the bin. And uh, I'll play my scavenging ooze. Oh, yep. So this lets us eat one thing. But I'm still on seven, so seven like doesn't really <laughs> like I still die to a bolt, right? Like you just attack and bolt me, um, yeah. so, so I can't like do anything. I was wondering like... why you chose green off the carpet because I was like, man, he's got so many forests. Yeah, so much green, right? <laughs> All the green you could ever want. Uh, um, okay, so in this case, I think that like equ equipping. Questing beast with clamp seems potentially greedy uh, because my so my other option is I can play hex drinker and yeah. then just have like a bunch of attack a big attack next turn. Mm. Um, Lutri's gone, so you can't like bolt bolt two things, but you, a bolt will kill me anyway. So I think yeah, I mean, I, just, I feel like I'm, I feel like if you play hex drinker, I'm just locked into swinging. Yeah, I just like maximum commit here, and then I just attack you for seven. Yep. Rather than like 
using one damage off this to to have you let me le let me let you lethal me and i just go like if you have bolt i lose but if you don't have bolt i i think you go to blocks you go to keep the guy back on blocks but i have a way to win mm. i have like multiple ways to win so i think i just do that and i pass and just hope you don't have a bolt okay you're on seven I'm on seven that's why I haven't been, <laughs> okay. been able to activate this. Well, I've got a brainstorm and a ponder. So... Oh, you got to find a bolt here. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's, there's a chance. There's a chance. Let's start with the uh, brainstorm. Yep, go for it. Even if I had a misstep, I couldn't pay blue mana with this and die. Uh, I think this island can go away. Yep. And... This brazen borrow can probably go away. I think, I wonder if it's the case that you, oh no, I'm, I'm just thinking about which one you do first. Yeah, I was just thinking, of maybe I meant to um, brainstorm, uh, ponder first ponder there. Ponder first, like see six cards. It makes it a bad brainstorm in a sense for the following turn. Yeah. But I guess I should check the third card. Third card. Yeah. Third card's down the bolt then. You win. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so it makes the, the brainstorm the next turn much worse mm. but it's all about this turn so that's it like it's just down to this turn well ponderoni astrolabe oh astrolabe could get there island for turn swing you for six go to one fire oh there it is yep you got me the, the <laughs> odds the odds that you were going to find a boat you know were like Mm, not not low. I don't think they're particularly low. Well, I was wanting it a mana because I had to, <laughs> I had preordain and ice fang as well. Mm. So and then uh, and then I had uh, three counter spells, but yep. I didn't have the mana to do the works. But uh, yeah, yeah. I think you. I think you like ponder first, shuffle. So you've seen four cards basically, yeah. and then you brainstorm. So you see three new cards. So you kind of like find seven. Um, yeah. Unless you find the uh, have the preordain, then you like yeah. No, you know, I found the, I found the preordain off off the ponder or what did I find it off, off the something nice. off the ponder. Yeah, I found it off the ponder. Nice. Well, well, awesome. Uh, yeah, I had a clue just sitting there, but I think it was a it was a game of pressure rather than a game of uh, oh, absolutely. Of, yeah, yeah, like it was just so interesting to see how these this particular matchup. Rug me drain versus rug control devolves into a game of pressure. And it just you you don't sit there forever, but you you leverage like your position. I mean, you um you you kind of go back and forth to to get a decent position, and then you go like, okay, this is the thing I'm going to protect, or this is the thing I'm going oh, to. Oh, that's right. I mean, it's not game it's not like I mean, you get there. It's not like one of those uh, control mirrors where everyone you know they go on for just inevitably go to time, and you can't figure out how anyone's going to win. Yeah, you know, like some miracles, legacy miracles playoff, where there's just more removal, way more removal in the game than there are threats. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're gonna, it's gonna happen eventually. Uh, even if, even if you don't do anything, you posture for the first couple of turns. Um, you know, yeah, you get down to it, and obviously you can uh, easily get a winner in a really quick amount of time because you can use that mana so effectively. That's it. That's it. Well, that was, um, that was, it was only one game, but it was quite a long one. So we might call that particular video there and then we'll be back with some more interesting uh, Highlander matchups. Yeah, Kobe's getting angsty. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys.